Mr. Carl. I was just brushing up on some of my favorite words in the dictionary. Welcome to my house. Today, we're going to do another science experiment. Today's science experiment <laughs> is going to be how to make butter. Yes, butter. So let's get started. First thing you need, some heavy whipping cream. Yes, heavy whipping cream. An empty jar. You need a lid for the jar and a marble. So let's get started. But before you do anything with food that you're going to eat, hopefully you remember to wash your hands for 20 seconds. And now we can add our ingredients. Our ingredient. It doesn't matter how much you add. Actually, the smaller the jar, the less time it will take to uh, make the butter. Again, this is the same jar as last time. This is a 12 ounce jar. If you have a baby food jar, um, those only take uh, about two minutes worth of shaking, but here we go. So first thing you do is add your heavy whipping cream. Take your marble, clean marble that is, drop it inside, and put your lid on, and you start shaking it. Oh, wait a minute. Where's my assistant? Mr. Carl? I'm just working on my language work. Do you need to do anything? Why yes, Abraham. Do you think you could help me shake this heavy whipping cream and make it into butter? I can help you, Mr. Carl. I'll start right now. point if you hear the marble not moving inside anymore and you open the jar and it looks like this on the inside is whipped cream but we're gonna keep going for a few more minutes and uh, let's see how the butter turns out okay at this point at about the eight minute mark if you've been shaking it like my assistant has what you're gonna find is that on the sides it's gonna start looking like this it's starting to no longer stick to the sides, but on the inside, what you're finding is that there's a solid. And it can continue shaking for a little bit longer until it gets a little bit firmer. You can look at it and open it at this point, but we're still looking for a little bit more of a solid consistency. So keep going for just a little bit more. And at this point, when you've shaken it so much that it just stays on the bottom like that, you have made your butter. So if you look inside, you should see a solid on top, and then underneath is a liquid. That is actually the buttermilk, but we don't want that. We just want the butter part. So from here, if you add a little bit of salt, you've officially created your butter. Take the solid and you can actually put that inside a sealed container and you have butter that will last just as long as the butter you would buy at the grocery. Enjoy your butter. I hope your family enjoys it and I'll see you all next week.